So in this video, we're going to be taking a look at the landmass plugin inside Unreal Engine 4. Now I'm going to go ahead and create a new template here so you can kind of follow along. I'm going to go create a game and we'll do a third person for now. And I'm just going to name this landmass tutorials, create the project. And what I'm going to do is go ahead and enable the landmass plugin by going to edit plugins and type landmass. Now this is beta, so you can see right here. So let's go ahead and restart. Now in Unreal Engine 4, you can get plugins to create landscapes and environments, or you can go to the marketplace and just buy some. But if you have the time, patience, and skills, there are plenty of tools inside Unreal Engine 4 that you can learn to be able to create stuff that are really amazing. So with that being said, let's go ahead and create a new level right here and I'm just gonna go ahead and start with that default I'm gonna delete this one right here because we're gonna create a landscape and we're gonna go ahead and leave everything right here just fine and to get to that uh, landmass plugin we're gonna have to go to our modes landscape or shift 2 and then we're gonna go ahead and create our landscape here I'm just gonna subtract this because we don't really we're not trying to create a battle royale map here guys I'm just gonna try and show you guys uh, what this plugin can do so I'm gonna do two by two sections and I'm going to do 6x6, six six, just something smaller here. I'm going to go ahead and click on Enable Edit Layers and then Create. And here's our landscape here. As you can see, it's really plain. But let's go ahead and enable that plugin. Now, if you go right here under Blueprint, if you click on that, that's where you find the actual landmass plugin. Now, when you hear Blueprint, and when I hear Blueprint, I tend to kind of like get scared. But you don't have to worry. You don't have to touch any Blueprints at all. It's just called Blueprint blueprint for some reason but if you click this custom brush landmass right now and click it in your uh, scene here I'm gonna click it over there that's gonna create a little funky looking pyramid and I know this doesn't look really nice for a landscape but I'm gonna show you uh, the controls that you can do to make this thing better now first off you can move the splines around this plugin is kind of like designed um, the, the main backbone of this is spline technology, right? So you can move it around, you can add splines around, you can really shape it however you want. But what makes this very versatile is that it is non-destructive, so you're kind of just painting over layers, kind of like Photoshop. And the settings that you get for this is insane. So if I have that layer selected, and I'm also going to have that layer in my world outliner selected right here, the custom brush. And if I scroll down to the actual settings, the available settings on the top root right here, not below, I'm going to start tweaking the settings and you're going to see, ugh, it's crazy how amazing this is. So I'm going to... Not going to touch the fall off yet. I'm going to go ahead and go to the effects. All right, so if I go to blurring and I will put like 20 in there, just like that, you just changed the way your little mountain looked. And I'm going to go ahead and click on this again and go back. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and click on this and go back. So that that's what blurring does. And this right here is really cool, the, cl the curl. Look at that. Now you're actually creating a different texture, different... Look at this. This is insane. By just changing their curl one strength, and then I can do the curl two strength, then the tiling I can do, and then, man, that is, this is insane. I'm going to go ahead and reset all this for now so you can kind of see. But that's pretty crazy. So if I go to, like, press play right now, I mean, look at this. And with literally, like, a click of a button, we now have this nice mountain looking thing created just like that. So let's go ahead and go back out. And then if we add some blur to that, if you want some smooth terrain, and then if you want, you can you know, keep it all ragged and stuff. And if we go to displacement, this thing right here is super cool. So if I add some more displacement on this. All right, so if I go right here and add that displacement and do the tiling, in the midpoint, look at this. Oh my gosh. How cool is that? That is so cool. And you know, I've messed around with the displacement height, the tiling if you want. Oh man, this is this is really cool. I mean, you don't even have to mess with blueprints or anything like that. To tr what is this, tracing? Let's take a look at this one. That's that's wicked. That's really cool. And then you can put like water inside of that and stuff like that. 
You can make some plateaus if you want with a spacing like this. It's just insane what you can do with a couple of clicks with this landmass plugin here. That is crazy. And like I said, what's cool about it is you can actually duplicate this here because it's just an actor. So if I'll press Alt, I can move that to a new one. And what's crazy about it is it's actually interacting with the other one that I created. You kind of see it's kind of combining together. But you can kind of see, and if I change this here to just change the strength. And, and it's crazy. And then also I can even change the min-max of this as far as blend mode. Kind of like similar to like Photoshop and stuff like that. So if I go to like, if I bring this here and I want to change the, change the blending mode to like additive or, you know, minimum, maximum alpha blend. So you can blend it together. It's pretty darn crazy what you can do with this plugin. I mean, texturing this is obviously going to be a different beast, but if you just want to see what it looks like, you can just, you know, try, get like a material or something. And if I go to my, you know, just get like a cobblestone or something like that. So you can kind of see it. That's insane. I mean, maybe we can try like a bush. <laughs> I don't think this is going to work right. <laughs> what the heck? That's crazy. It's cool though. But you can kind of see with just a couple of clicks and drags you can create a legit environment for your production or video game or you know green screen footage